What's up guys, main man Swear, and welcome to Armor King's 8 minute guide. Armor King is a very specific type of brawler, wrestler and trickster. And the way the brawling works is that he chips away at the opponent and then punishes them severely for mistakes they made. And he chips away from two steps away. This is his comfortable range. On paper, his tools don't look that good, like down four here, minus two on hit. What? I don't even get plus frames. That's not how he operates. He's not counting me. He does not build offense and pressure through strong frames on hit. Rob it's through his reach. You stand far away, chip away with down forward one, down four, down forward four, down back two. Stone Cold Stunner. And this one's actually safe on block, Stone Cold Stunner. Um, so you chip away at the opponent and then you force them to make a mistake. Like for example, down four reaches so far and I'm minus 13 on block, but the audience 13 frame punisher won't even reach me. And then what do I have? Oh, what's that? Some of the best whiff punish in the game. So long range, keep them at bay, chip, make them whiff. Oh, best whiff punish in the game. Poo, poo, poo. And that's Armor King. Uh, so yeah, in terms of whiff punish, we have Ford 1 plus 4, uh, the Armor King train, 13 frame shoulder with, uh, hard to describe how long the range is, uh, 4 to 1, 15 frames, big damage, you have back 3, and then we have launchers in CD1, which turns into a launcher if, it's hit, if it hits from far away. Very good move, very good frames on block. And then one of the best whiff punishers in the game, the Dark Upper. The Dark Upper can actually deal on an open stage, so no wall, 80 damage. That's very, very high damage. So he punishes really hard and he's really good at staying away from the opponent, uh, utilizing his range. So again, he doesn't build momentum really, he puts a great responsibility on his user, understanding spacing really well and having really good movement, like JDCR. Um, and then, from this range, he can also very comfortably throw his Shining Wizard while running 2 plus 4, uh, which is a very fast 1 plus 2 break throw. It's really good. Uh, and then in comes the pressure, and this comes in the form of a Wrestler 50-50. So it's not the classic Hell Sweep or Mid, it's rather Mid or Fro. So a very different 50-50. And Wave Dash is extremely important to Armor King because he has very poor tracking on a lot of his attacks. And his homing moves can be sluggish, although Ford for free is really good. But again, it's a little bit uh, iffy in that, holy shit, if they duck it, you're dead. So good mids are while standing four. CD4, but you'll, you'll notice there ain't a lot of tracking. So this is where we wave dash to realign with the opponent. We, no, we not only wave dash to look good, because God knows we do, it's because we want to track, actually track the opponent, so that we don't wave, you know. Uh, that's why we do that. And from that wave dash, Armor King being a wrestler has some of the most disgusting throw mix-ups in the game. And these are often misunderstood, so I'm gonna try and explain them here. So again, strong mids uh, to keep them from, uh, from ducking. And then when they don't duck, we apply our throws. Giant swing, arguably the best throw in the game. One break. Hades drop, one plus two break. 45 damage. Chain throw. Uh, two breaks. So what I do just demonstrated was one break, one plus two break, and two break. But which, what you did not understand was that all of these throws have the exact same throw animation. This is giant swing. This is, oh, <laughs> sorry. This is Hades drop. And this is the chain throw. They all have the exact same throw animation. But that's a one break a two break and a one plus two break. So your opponent has no idea what you're doing. He can only guess, three way guess, one, two or one plus two. So his throw game is exceptional. And he uses the wave dash to track them. 
and use these mids while standing for plus five, 11 frames, 20 damage. Stone Cold Stunner, safe on block, 35 damage, plus four, knockdown. Fort for two, safe on block these days. Uh, he has some really beefy mids to keep them from, uh, uh, from ducking. Uh, and then in terms of, uh, of keep out, you have back one, which is actually a pretty damn decent uh, 12 frame counter hit launcher. It's really good. And the trickster that is Armor King, the unblockable, the unblockable, giving him crazy Oki Seme. Crazy Oki Seme. So many different setups. Check, check them out for that. Check out Lil Margin. Uh, CD3 at the wall will. Uh, you know, hit people, you'll have this, you have this, you also have his, uh, also very underutilized by Armor King, uh, the Breath. It has 10 frames of active hitboxes, and if it hits very late, uh, you, you get a free shoulder. Uh, the way you can set this up, uh, I'm gonna set him to guard. You can set this up either from range, but as you can see, this is pretty hard to do. But what you can do is wait for them to stand up, you knock them down, and you play, place it properly as they're standing up. Uh, God, I'm really bad at this. And it will, it will hit uh, in, its, it, in its later frames, and you get a guaranteed shoulder. Uh, I, I make it look really bad right now, but it's, it's better than you think, if you use it properly. And punishment, 10 frame is fantastic. 2, 1, plus 7. Back 1, 2 at 12 frames. 14 frames, he launches with dark upper, but easy mode is 15 frame hop kick. While standing 4, um, his while standing is pretty bad. He only has while standing 4. And then 16 frames, while standing 1, uh, 15 frames is, is hop kick. Uh, so that's basically it, and for combos, Dark Upper into CD1 is basically the name of the game, uh, almost always. If you, if you have a lower launcher, GDCR likes double down for 1, 1 plus 2, 2, down back to 4, uh, just for example. So how do you beat him? Uh, Armor King does not win Poke Wars. He's good at this range, but if you're in his face, like, his pokes aren't very good at all in terms of frames. So if you poke away, uh, chances are your character will be better at poking uh, from straight up. Uh, and he's generally very unsafe as soon as he adds... Uh, as soon as he does an extension like two hits or three hits, he's usually very unsafe. It's just the name of the game. He, he does single hits, but as soon as he adds attacks, he's very unsafe. And 4 to one here, I see a lot of you only block this, duck the second hit and while standing launch him. Um, a lot of armor kings are very lazy with their throws. They do giant swing or they do tombstone. Recognize this throw animation. Press 2 when you see it. And when you see both arms come at once, press 1. You'll beat most armor kings. Um, and sidestepping armor king is gener generally a good idea. He really suffers with tracking. Fort Fort 3 is scary, so you can actually sidestep into duck and beat a lot of his options. A lot of his options. Um, so, yeah, that's Armor King in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed the video, and take care, everyone.